NASA is preparing to send a 7,600 pound care package to the International Space Station on Orbital ATK's seventh commercial resupply services mission. The Orbital ATK Cygnus pressurized module will get a boost to the orbiting laboratory aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The pressurized module arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in January. Its first stop was the facility's high bay, where it was removed from its shipping container to begin processing. The Cygnus service module arrived at Kennedy on February 1st. That's the component that holds the avionics, propulsion, and power systems for the pressurized cargo module. While work continued on the Cygnus spacecraft, the Atlas V first stage booster and Centaur upper stage arrived by ship at Port Canaveral on February 6th. From there, they were trucked to the Atlas Space Flight Processing Operations Center on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station across the Banana River from Kennedy. The Cygnus pressurized cargo module was loaded with supplies, equipment, and scientific research materials, rotated to vertical, and on February 14th, it was attached to its service module. On February 22nd and 23rd, the Atlas V booster was lifted into place inside the Vertical Integration Facility at Space Launch Complex 41 and topped by the Centaur upper stage the next day. Meanwhile, the Cygnus spacecraft moved to the Payload Hazardous Servicing Facility for final cargo loading. On March 10th, it was sealed in the two-piece payload fairing that will protect it during the climb to orbit. One week later, the fairing containing the Cygnus module made the early morning journey to the launch complex, where it was hoisted into position atop the Atlas V rocket that will soon carry it toward a rendezvous with the International Space Station.